stand on this side, please. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. <laughs> We're about to do some cooking. All right, you found this recipe. What is it? Uh, zucchini taco boat, Z I think. From? Clean Food Crush. We're going to attempt to make these zucchini taco boats. Mm -hmm. Zucchini taco boats today. In the description box, I'm going to put a link to the real true recipe because most likely what you're about to see is not 100% true following the recipe. No, because I'm you here. Probably, oh, okay. We're, we're going to have the follow, recipe. Yeah, we're probably going to follow the recipe. So I'm still going to link to it, but just stay tuned. What? Wait, did you say? We're good? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I didn't Miss, know I follow the recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Okay. Ingredients. A tablespoon avocado oil or olive oil. Olive oil. That's already in the pan. We need a half a cup diced onion, which is probably a half an onion. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do half an onion diced. One pound lean ground beef. Grass fed if possible. Grass fed. It's frozen. So we're just going to have to cook it while it's frozen. Whatever. Two garlic cloves. Two. <laughs> Minced. Half a teaspoon smoked paprika. I don't have that out. A teaspoon of cumin and salt. Paprika, cumin, salt. Three medium to large zucchini. We have four. <laughs> Which we're going to slice in half lengthwise and then scoop it out to make a boat. These are going to make the tiny... That's a canoe. That is not a boat. <laughs> Half a cup red enchilada sauce. Had a tough time finding this at the store because I was looking for a jar and it was in a can. So I stood there in the Latin foods aisle looking like an idiot. This one says to read the labels and look for minimal ingredients. This is the first one I saw and I had been looking for a few minutes so I said good enough. Quarter cup cheese optional. Not doing that. Quarter cup <laughs> cheese on hers. Okay. I'm not doing cheese. So, optional cheese for her, <laughs> not for me. Quarter cup fresh cilantro leaves. I didn't, I didn't even try to grab that. So, none of that. Optional toppings. Diced tomatoes, we're gonna do that. Diced green onions, not gonna do that. Diced avocado, on hers. Mm -hmm. So there you go. On to the directions. Preheat oven to 375. Heat medium large skillet to medium high heat. That's medium, Rachel. Is that better? Much. Add oil and onions to the pan, saute, blah, blah, blah. We're also going to need a baking dish for the zucchini canoes. I'm calling these canoes. We're going to put our zucchini canoes in here. Rachel stole my cutting board. Yep, I did. It was sitting in front of me. I don't think we introduced ourselves. I'm Jen. I'm Rachel. Welcome. Ooh, knife skills. Yeah. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Watch your fingers. Chop. Oh my god. Watch your fingers. Lux. Look at Lux. Oh my god. Perfect. So my knife, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the zucchini canoes. Right? Mm -hmm. This? No. No. Don't eat dogs. Dogs like to eat shit off the ground. They don't even. He would have eaten that. Slicing my zucchinis in half lengthwise. And then I'm going to scoop out the middle. Hmm. Probably with a spoon. Yeah. Rachel's going to do the zucchinis. <laughs> I'm going to cut the ends off of all of them for her. And then cut them in half lengthwise for her. Uh-oh, she says. I'm sure if I were say. Rachel, I would leave all these scraps on the table the whole time we're cooking. But I'm Jen, so I clean as I go. Same with these. Excuse me. Cleaning as we go. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. It's not going to be pretty. This is my first one, so we'll see. Canoe number one. It's a little ugly. I think it looks excellent. Hi, Coco. She don't care. She only cares if scraps get dropped. Ooh, what's that? See ya. Are you guys going to drop stuff? If you drop it, I eat it. I eat whatever you give me. Oh, oh I eat that. Yeah, I eat that. Yeah, I give you that. Thank you. you Here, drop, watch your toes. You drop any more? I can eat your toes? Oh, that canoe ain't going to float. <laughs> well, maybe it's time I give this a try. Yep. 
Look at that canoe. Yeah. She's a perfectionist, so that probably helps them. I'm free spirited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is annoying. <laughs> oh. Stay around. Oh. Watch my toes. Lux got it. Done. Thank you. Daily. Fun the stuff I put up with. I'm the kitchen free spirit. You are? Yeah. Oh. My life with uh, the recipes and stuff. Yeah. But with cleaning, you're not. No. No. I like it clean. Rachel doesn't mind it like a... I clean after I'm done. Like a hoarder. I clean as I go. Hoarder? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now what? Spices in there? Um, after it cooks some, it's still too frozen. Oh my god, look at this. So this is what you gotta do when your meat's frozen? I guess she's like cutting or shaving it off? That's it... what I do. If not, it just doesn't cook right. Coco doesn't like the camera. The ducks? Yeah, see, watch. You flip it over, and it's all ready. And you just kind of take it off. <laughs> oh, no. Because then what? Yeah. I mean, what would you do? Yeah, I guess. Because then it burns. Right. <laughs> so we've got all our zucchini canoes ready to roll. We're finishing cooking up our beef which is mixed in with our onions and garlic. Cumin. That's in there already? No. Oh. Once it, once the yeah, meat Yeah, so we brown the meat and then we're gonna add in our spices. And there's nothing else for me to do right now. What's in the cup, you ask? None your business. It's yummy. An adult beverage, that's what. Cause I'm an adult. I have a feeling these aren't going to be very filling. We pour a pound of meat over them. Yeah. And all the other stuff, it should be good. All right. You might eat a, a half a pound of meat, I'll do me. Coco bear. Ah. Mm-mm. So now I get to show you guys the worst can opener in the world. No, it's the Pimper Chef. It's awful. See how it's not like your normal can opener where you put it on the side and then you go around and then you can stop a little bit early and pull the lid back but the lid's still attached so then you can drain liquids and that kind of, no. This thing somehow clamps on like this. Go around the outside. You don't know when you're done because it doesn't make a clean break. So you just go around like three times. And then, like, you don't even, you can't peel it off. So you want to know how you got, no. Yeah. You know how you got to take this thing off? See that little clamper thing right there? That you have to use to clamp on to the lid and pull the lid off. What the hell? <laughs> Taste as you go. Good. You don't mix this in with the meat. No. It says it pour you pour it on top. Huh. Right? I don't know. Well no. I don't follow directions. That's not yours. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Scoop the ground beef mixture into the boat, part of the zucchini, pour the red enchilada sauce over the filled zucchini boat. The beef is done. Lux is waiting for it to be dropped. Now you take the beef and you pour it over into your canoes. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Fill those canoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lux. It's going to be so good. Okay. Cocoa? Mm, Cocoa. Scared as always. We have extra meat. Mm -hmm. I'll eat it. Well, no, I'm going to put it in the boats. Oh. 
<laughs> Never mind. Put it in the boats. You sure? I'll eat it. I know you'll eat it. We're gonna Aww. Put it Aww. Sad, Jim. Aww. Nice. Mm. Mm. After you've put your beef in your zucchini boats, you do something else. <laughs> it's a half a cup. That's probably a cup. Oh, but we did make extra boats. Pour the can on there? Yeah, why not? It calls for a half a cup, but we're going to put the whole thing on there. Dump it. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Yummy. Directions, smirrections. Yeah. Good? Yeah. I'll just eat the beef with the sauce. All right, so now we just put it in the oven for... Do we put tomatoes on? I think that's for after. I don't think you cook the tomatoes. Oh. That's just your garnish. Well, that's pretty easy. So you just carve yeah. out your boats, cook up your meat with your onion and your garlic. garlic, and then you throw them in the boats, and then you bake them for a while. For 20 to 22 minutes. Would you stop taking the meat? Always eats. No. While we're cooking. No. And is never hungry. Never. Never. It never happens. Every time. 20 minutes. It does happen every time. <laughs> yes, it does. Way longer than 20 minutes. It's been 30 now. Just, put, just added 10 more for 40. And the zucchini. Canoes are still super hard. They are. So we're rocking out. And puzzling. And doing this. We're finishing this. So close. Dude, this is a 1500 piece of hell. <laughs> we've had this up since just after Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we've yet to complete it. But we're so close. Oh my god, so close. Like this, look at the, look at this. All of these on the edge. They're all the same. This has been the hardest puzzle yet. Puzzle done. Masters. However, we're we fit all the pieces in there, but we're missing four. That one. That one. That one. And this one. Not one more. Fudge. Her. She you. Ate them. Did you eat them? Coco Bear. You eat the puzzle pieces? You did? That's big. It's the April 1st. We started, let's just say January. This took three months to complete. We had a few months that were right. interrupted. It basically take two months to complete. Probably. Yeah. It's pretty though. It is. So we're going to enjoy it for a day and then rip it apart. Good work. Food's done. Ooh. Food. My kind of talking. So there's the finished product. Yummy. Stop eating the food. Every time. Every time. Boo. Canoey. Two person job to get the canoes onto a plate. Oh man. man. Cheese. This cheese is yummy. It's a little spicy. Oh, hot. What? Oh, hot. Stuff's really hot when it comes right out of the oven. I'm making a mess. And maybe I didn't cut those as well. Yeah. Rachel's fault. Finished product. Rachel's. <laughs> with cheese and avocado, tomatoes on top. Mine. With tomatoes. One has avocado on top. No cheese. I'll be honest, hers look better. But they're both going to be really yummy, I think. That was super successful, except for how long it took the boats to cook. It took 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. So the recipe says it takes 20 minutes. It took 40 minutes. So unless you're scooping your canoes to like the thinnest of thin, 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 it's going to take a lot longer than 20 minutes to get those to soften up. Anything else? Yeah. No, I think that's it. They're pretty simple. That is really simple. It's kind of dummy proof. Mm -hmm. I mean, you scoop out the stuff from the zucchini, you shove a bunch of meat in it, you bake it in the oven until the zucchini is soft, and then you load it up with whatever the heck you want. Yeah. So, party mm -hmm. on, dude. <laughs> We're going to eat. You guys are going to stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys next time.